I just felt entitled to it as well. It was just dysfunctional from day one. You know, as kids, I used to put on heels. I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, whatever my sisters did, I try to do those things. They went to the back and there was a bunch of old and young boys back there all naked in the Wade house. So I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking sh about Boosie. So word on the street is that Gabrielle Union is low key getting her ducks in a row to serve Dwayne Wade with divorce papers. And the T is that she allegedly caught him stepping out on her with a man. Now there's this one blind item that spilled the beans on Dwayne, saying he was up to no good with another lady on the side. But some other sources are now chirping that Dwayne might have strayed in a different direction with a do. And let me tell you, for those who've been peeping behind the scenes, this is not exactly a surprise. And some fans are even speculating that Gabrielle knew all along that Dwayne was bisexual, but she just didn't want it to go public. Also, stories keep popping up saying that Dwayne and Gabrielle love to throw some wild parties at their crib. So is this really the end of the road for Gabrielle and Dwayne? And will Gabrielle spill the beans on Dwayne's secret? Let's break it all down. Gabrielle Union recently did an interview with Sway and said this. He eats her, then does that mean she has to eat the man? If we're talking about, you know, equal Reciprocal. time here. Guys really aren't, at least the ones I know, I ain't really into this. That's Preach. what they say. Okay, so I don't know if I'm more surprised that she admitted that she eats booty or that he likes it. So like I said, there's been a lot of talk about Gabrielle and Dwayne hosting some kind of, let's say, unconventional parties at their residence where older Hollywood gentlemen are entertained by much younger men. And rumors are going around that Gabrielle knew from the jump that Dwayne swings both ways. Now we all know that the rumors about Dwayne being on the DL are nothing new, but recently multiple insiders from the entertainment industry have come forward with some pretty wild claims. And these speculations didn't just pop out of thin air, honey. They are actually rooted in comments from individuals who used to work closely with Dwayne. Back in 2010, Dwayne's former business partner, Richard Von Houtman, alleged that Dwayne used to host secretive, substance-fueled gatherings while still married to his first wife, Siobhan Funches. Richard recalled one incident at Dwayne's four-bedroom high-rise apartment where the cleaning crew discovered quite the mess. I went down there and what I saw was disgusting, Richard said. The apartment was trashed and filthy and it wasn't the first time. He described finding used condoms on the floor, empty champagne and hard liquor bottles, nearly finished blunts and half-eaten food riding on tables and furniture. Dwayne and his crew hosted these parties several times a week, inviting numerous guests, primarily rappers, and women they'd meet in clubs. These alleged gatherings continued even after Dwayne's divorce from his first wife and his relationship with Gabrielle. And Richard implied that Gabrielle would often partake in these parties. Now, Richard didn't explicitly mention Dwayne engaging with other men at these parties, but given the allegations from other insiders, it definitely makes you wonder what went down at these parties. What's also worth pointing out is that Dwayne's ex-wife claimed during their divorce that Dwayne infected her with an STD around 2007, which coincides with the period when Richard alleged Dwayne started throwing these wild parties. And despite Dwayne's attempts to sue his ex-wife for defamation of character, the rumors surrounding his sexuality persisted. Dwayne himself accidentally fueled these speculations when he admitted he used to dress up in women's clothing. In one interview that's been making the rounds lately, Dwayne shared his thoughts supporting his daughter Zaya when she came out as transgender. And he revealed that in his younger days, he used to enjoy wearing his sister's clothes and heels. When it hit, when it hit my doorstep at three years old, like I said, when me and my wife looked at each other, right? And the reason we looked at each other is because of this, you know, as kids, I used to put on heels. I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, whatever my sisters did, I try to do those things. So at first I said to myself, oh no, I did that. So I ain't just doing the things that I did. And then it kept going further and further. And then me and my wife had to look at each other and say, well, well, what if? And at that moment, everything that I was taught went out the window because now I'm a parent. And my only, my sole job and my sole responsibility is to make sure that this kid grow up knowing that it's supported, 
and is loved. Now, speaking of Dwayne's daughter, Zaya, there's also been controversy surrounding Dwayne and Gabrielle's parenting choices. Dwayne's ex-wife, Siobhan, claimed that they forced Zaya's gender transition for financial gain, and she accused them of exploiting Zaya's gender identity for attention. Another issue surfaced when Dwayne and Gabrielle filed to legally change Zaya's name and gender before she turned 18 without consulting her birth mother, despite a custody agreement with Siobhan that should have involved her in such decisions. Siobhan actually tried to block this request, and she took legal action by submitting official documents to show that, according to the custody agreement she had previously negotiated with Dwayne, he is obligated to discuss with her and obtain from her input in the major decisions affecting their two children. But the court granted Dwayne and Gabrielle's request to change 15-year-old Zaya's legal identity, and Dwayne then fired back at Siobhan and accused her of centering herself and her needs without regard to her children. Now, this statement didn't sit well with many fans, who took to social media to say that Dwayne and Gabrielle were the ones centering themselves in Zaya's situation. And at the same time, rumors about Dwayne and Gabrielle's unconventional marriage and secret parties continued to circulate. And then Jaguar Wright alleged in an interview that this is something that happens a lot in the industry and that many Hollywood couples, including Will and Jada, JLo and Mark Anthony, and now the Wades partake in some wild activities. Jaguar also claimed that these gatherings move from the Smiths to the Wades after the entanglement situation. They ain't doing as much, I guess, now because they're getting older. I guess it just moved over to the Wade house. Now, Jaguar clarified that her statements have nothing to do with Dwayne and Gabrielle's support for Zaya's transition, and she explained that she heard from many young men in the industry that they personally witnessed questionable and disturbing activities at one of the Wade's house parties. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front, so they went to the back and there was a bunch of old fucking and fucking young boys back there, all ass naked in the Wade house. So I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking sh about Boosie. Jaguar also blasted Gabrielle for her comments about Boosie, suggesting that Gabrielle was projecting her husband's issues onto others. Funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking shit about Boosie. Maybe you suspicious of him because of the shit that's happening in your house. Mm. Get out of here. These niggas be talking greasy on all kinds of shit. But I don't like when these so-called black Hollywood couples want to come in and then they want to sit there and play gatekeeper. Meanwhile, they were thing and misusing all kinds of young people. Mm. And guess what? Don't nobody want to admit that they a victim. So they pretend to be friends. Uh, yeah. In case you missed the situation between Gabrielle and Boosie, Boosie publicly called out Dwayne and Gabrielle for allowing Zaya to transition before she turned 18. But then Gabrielle clapped back at him, claiming that he's the one struggling with his identity. We will never abandon you, ever. Um, but sometimes you're gonna have to leave. Mm. And so far, so good, you know. Sorry, Boosie. <laughs> Uh, has a, he's so preoccupied. Yeah, he is. Very it's much almost so. almost like thou doth protest too much, little booze. I'm going to just, I'm going to look You've got a lot of on your mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, it's Throw like, that out there. It's like Zaya and Lil Nas X living his head. <laughs> For free, <laughs> rent free. Like what? It's like, sir. <laughs> um, something you want to just go ahead and tell us. <laughs> this is a safe space. <laughs> we can be your Perhaps that safe space was not provided for him. But you already know, Boosie wasn't gonna stay quiet after this, and he went off on Gabrielle on Twitter, claiming she's just mad that her husband's little secret got exposed. LOL, the whole world know I love women, and the whole world know your husband loved D. Hope you don't think blacks look at y'all like a power couple. They don't. Boosie also added that it wasn't his intention to expose Dwayne, but Gabby started it by accusing him of being in the closet, so he had to set the record straight really quick. I had refused to talk about y'all in the interviews and here you go go bang him with that and wait on the script you little white girl girl well this explains why gabrielle never tried to come for boosie again after that but boosie didn't stop there and he later appeared on vlad tv he actually made a good point accusing gabrielle of hypocrisy for trying to use being gay as an insult so for her to say that it makes her a hypocrite also yeah you don't want nobody to talk about nothing that goes on with those situations, but you're saying somebody has gone in mind? 
So if you do got on your mind, you feel some type of way about them. Baby, you this, rumors about Dwayne and Gabrielle's alleged men only parties gained more traction on social media, with fans speculating that the reason Gabrielle always gets so defensive when someone brings up her marriage is because there's definitely something she doesn't want us to know. When Gabrielle appeared earlier this year on the Bloomberg original series Idea Generation, she was asked how she deals with all these wild rumors about her and Dwayne. And she said they don't phase her because she only values criticism from people she respects. How do I process criticism? Um, it depends on the person I'm getting the criticism from. If you are someone that I respect, that I know you are looking out for my best interest, I take it for exactly what it is and I try to see what you see. If you're somebody who, you know, you, you, you think criticizing is the same as insulting, I don't call that criticism, I don't even receive it. I'm not open to that. But many felt that Gabrielle was just putting on a brave face and overcompensating for something with her girl boss attitude. And now, on top of all this, new rumors recently popped up in the media that Gabrielle is now contemplating divorce because she's allegedly tired of leading a double life and covering for Dwayne. According to a recent blind item from Demois, Dwayne was recently spotted on what looked like a date with a woman who wasn't Gabrielle. But other gossip blogs later reported Dwayne was actually on a date with another man. To be clear, all these are just rumors at this point, but the streets are talking and fans are speculating that Gabrielle knew from the start that Dwayne had some secrets in his closet, if you know what I mean. But most fans are saying that it's unlikely Gabrielle will ever serve Dwayne with divorce papers and they'll most likely keep writing it out. You know, bad marriage for life or whatever Will and Jada said. But what are your thoughts on this mess? Do you believe there's some truth to all these wild claims about Gabrielle and Dwayne? Let me know in the comments section below and don't forget to check out this next story.